Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather and see what's on the horizon for this uh, upcoming week. There are two storm systems. The first one is minor. I'll show you that one. The second one, it's still out in the Pacific. That's the one to watch. We'll start with this live view up at uh, Alta Ski Area. The clouds have rolled in. Uh, you might see a little something from this first storm, this front. You can see the diagonal. It's pretty broken. Uh, rain and snow. There just is not a lot with this thing kind of extending up from Nevada, northern Utah, and a little bit of pre a little snow up into the Tetons and the Wind Rivers, but that one is really minor. The, the second one, and I've marked it here on the Pacific, you can see the gathering of clouds. That one's going to be a larger storm for early this upcoming week, and it will just basically follow the yellow arrow and move in first to California, and it will have a small atmospheric river contribution, a weak one um, but then all of that moisture will then move in after that into Nevada, into Utah, into Idaho, Wyoming, and Colorado. So let's time this out on our future radar and the satellite here. And so by the time we get into Monday morning, again, very light band of rain and snow from northern uh, Utah extending through parts of Wyoming. I mean, that thing. And then up in the Pacific Northwest, a steady diet of both rain and snow and snow levels will come down a little bit and we're seeing snow up at Whistler, Blackcomb, obviously all the high volcanoes into the interior BC. You're going to have precip and snow almost every single day in the Pacific Northwest. Monday afternoon you can already see the next storm coming and this one's the larger, the much larger of the two and by the time it moves in Monday afternoon, Monday night, Tuesday morning in California the issue is whenever you get these the fire hydrant opens sometimes with one of these. It pushes the snow levels up um, pretty significantly. I mean, we may be looking at snow levels initially as the storm comes in in the Tahoe area and in the Sierra in general of 9,000, 10,000 feet. And then the snow levels will drop pretty quick, probably all the way down to 6,000. But initially, they're going to be high. Notice all the precip all the way back up into Whistler uh, in B.C. Uh, on the northern side of the storm system. So it's a, it's a continuous stream up in that area. You'll have new snow almost every single day. All right, so that's Tuesday, 5 a.m. Um, by the time we get into Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night, then it starts to blow that precip into the interior. And by that point, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado will, will start to see snowfall. I think from this second storm system in the Wasatch in general, we're looking at 6 to 12 inches of accumulation. Um, probably around six, seven, eight inches around Jackson Hole and the Tetons, Rendezvous Peak. Um, and I'll show you what I'm thinking for Colorado in a second, but I think it's mainly the central and northern mountains that will get the, 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 the moderate snow amounts. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot in southern Colorado. All right, so that's Tuesday at 515. By the time we get into Wednesday morning, um, the main storm moving through Colorado. You can see the blue there. And then on the back side, we're seeing some residual snows through the Wasatch, the High Uintas, the Tetons, and then back into parts of Idaho and western Montana. And notice the Pacific Northwest continuous amounts of moisture. A little break right there by Wednesday afternoon. By Wednesday afternoon, the main storm has moved out, and we're just seeing some residual snows through parts of uh, Colorado. All right, here's what I'm thinking as far as amounts um, over the next eight days. So here are those amounts. Um, a little bit with this first storm, an inch or less for most places. It's minor. But by the time we get into 11.8, 11.9, and 11.10, I think that's when we're really looking at um, the larger amounts of snowfall. And you can see what I'm forecasting there. Um, Vail, Loveland, Steamboat, all about six inches, maybe another inch or two on the back side of that. Um, but about six inches in those areas, less in the southern mountains of Colorado, including Telluride. Um, what about Alta Park City, Brighton? Like I was saying, probably six to 12 inches is going to be the range with this second storm system. Um, Mammoth, Tahoe, looking at about a foot in both of those areas once the snow levels finally come down. And look at Whistler, Blackcomb, a steady stream of snow each and every day for the next eight days. Thank you for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. I'll do another update tomorrow but at least we've got an active start to the week to look forward to. Take care.